ASM and welcome back to our second day of Pride Week all about RESPECT. More on that after news and announcements. On Saturday night, gunshots were fired in the basement level of Destiny USA Mall. At about 7 p.m., several males got into a fight on the lowest level of the mall. The fight resulted in one of the males pulling out a gun and firing one round, one of the bullets reaching the DSW shoe store window and shattering it. No one was hurt, but the mall was evacuated and closed for the entirety of the night. Mayor Ben Walsh has spoken out about the situation, saying that there is a real problem with gun violence at mall and something has to be done. Syracuse Police Force adds a new defense tactic to their training cu curriculum called Brazilian Jitsu. They were being su supervised by martial arts instructors Ben Tolini. Tolini applied to be an officer as a devoted martial arts. Tolini says the hope is to reduce injury injuries for both officers and sp suspects when a situation escalates. The Common Council unanimously approved a 22,000 expenditure to include a six-month training model module for new recruits in February. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The ESM Masterminds team competed at Union Springs on Monday. Gordon Gallery, Ronan Gerber, Max Newman, Ben Scofaro, Anu Schofield, and Jack Tumulty led the Spartans to three victories at the meet. ESM moved to seven wins and zero losses on the season. The JV team also played well, splitting their two matches. The Spartans' next meet is in April, as they will look to keep their regular season perfect record alive and compete for the league title. Key Club will have a meeting today, Tuesday, March 8th, at 325 in Room B3 to plan for the upcoming supply drive for Ukraine. All members should plan to attend. Grease is the word here at ESM. The school musical Grease will have performances Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. and at 2 and 7 p.m. on Saturday. Tickets are available for pre-sale purchases for $10 and then $12 at the door. Hurry, you don't want to miss these and seats are selling fast. Many people have different ways to define respect, but it can all be simplified down to being understanding and showing admiration towards each other. Respect can be shown in many different ways, like making eye contact and being quiet when someone speaks, saying please and thank you, and acknowledging your mistakes when you make them. Those of you who are looking to show respect can take part in the group Something Better here in the school, like Amari Withers. Um, well, I was staying after with Mr. Ward, and I overheard someone talking about something better, and ultimately I wanted to make the, the school more inclusive, so I figured I'd join. We've been having some nicer weather recently, and as you can see, we're getting hit by a wave of snow. So you may have gotten a little this morning and expect some more to come. Now, on to today's weather. Today we'll have a high of 37 and a low of 24. Wednesday will be warmer, and it'll, that trend will carry on until Friday, until it'll start to get colder once again. I'm, with Ed, I'm Grayson with your weather. school, Something Better's main goal is building community and respect regarding lots of different factors like racial identity, sexual orientation, and mental health to make our building more inclusive towards others and their needs. I got to interview Mr. Ward, one of the group's advisors, to ask him how he views respect. Respect for me is really just listening, just being open and setting ourselves aside and giving people the opportunity to speak their own truth. I really think it's trying to meet people where they are and to assume the best of people and when I can't do that to assume ignorance. Sure, we are our identities and if we don't respect 
each other's identities, then we don't respect each other, right? And we miss out on a lot um, when we don't let people be who they are. I think the most important part of showing compassion is approaching people with a sense of mercy and understanding. And if I don't understand something, to ask clarifying questions. So I, I think the more I'm willing to disintegrate my ego or my authority or my sense of moral superiority and to meet someone where they are with no precondition, the more likely I am to generate understanding rather than conflict or misunderstanding. I try to show respect uh, in everything I do. And like I said, I listen to people. I give people new opportunities each day, which I think is important in the classroom as a teacher. Um, even if I have a miscommunication with a student, I always circle back, um, make amends, start fresh. I, I really like this is like as, as tried and true as it gets, right? Like whether you're a fan of Quran or Torah or the Bible, that I think if we just do unto others as we would have them do to us, like what a remarkable thing, like even in class, right? Like I, I, I want people to feel like that they can get up and have a sense of mobility. I want them to be responsible to use the bathroom as they see fit without having to get some sort of permission from me. And as you can see, I was also able to interview Miscellaneous, who was another advisor in Something Better. Being able to have open conversations with each other without preconceived notions, while being able to acknowledge our differences and understand our identities are equally important is a huge part of showing respect. To see how not being respectful affects someone's life, let's head over to sports. Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Calvin Ridley has been suspended for the entire 2022 NFL season for betting out games while he was out for personal reasons in 2021 season. In upcoming news, the Unified Boys bowling team plays against Casanova at 3.33. And I'm working with your sports. Respect is something that is integral in our lives at all levels and in all relationships. It improves our overall well-being and allows us to build trust and safety while reducing anxiety and strengthening our community. And it's important to show it every day. That's all we have for you today. So from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday and remember to be kind and show respect.